Happy Thursday, everybody. Hey, listen, this morning, uh, a serious topic and also really timely topic considering uh, the hot weather we're seeing. Yeah, I interviewed a family and their story hopefully will save a life. Uh, of course, according to the CDC, drowning is the leading cause of death for children ages one to four. And this family from Dallas, North Carolina, almost fell into that stat with their two-year-old daughter. This is a story every parent should stop watch and see after a family's pool party narrowly avoided a tragedy. But the parents say thanks to CPR, the outcome here was truly a miracle. Well, it was Memorial Day. You having fun? A pool party turning into a nightmare for Matthew and Amy Shortridge. I mean, of course, bad things can happen, but I never, ever in my life. Enjoy Memorial Day thought that would happen at my pool with my kids. The parents of three said after swimming for a couple hours, they took two-year-old Mila out of the pool for the day. Then the unthinkable. Something just clicked to me. I need to say her name. Mila's 10-year-old sister, Adeline, making the shocking discovery. I had heard my older daughter, Adeline, screaming out my youngest daughter's name. She just screamed, Mila! Mila, Mila. I knew immediately that blood-curdling scream, what that meant. Matthew saw Mila floating in the pool. I immediately jumped into the pool. I've never seen anything quite like it in my life. I turned her over, and in my hands, I held my two-and-a-half-year-old baby's limp, lifeless, blue-gray body. She looked completely dead. Matthew, a nurse anesthetist, immediately got to work. We started CPR, and I just began to pray, God, please, please open up the lungs of my child. Please let me get some air in her. I just was shocked that something that severe had just happened when we were all, all adults were sitting by the pool. Their minds began to race. How did I allow this to happen? After seconds go by, and those seconds feel like minutes, that it's not working, she's not breathing. And you just, you feel so hopeless, like, is, is she going to breathe again? There for a split second, I thought, I thought we were going to be a family of four instead of five. But in that moment, they turned their panic into prayer. All of a sudden, I noticed her eyes opened. At that point in time, I saw her blink and I thought, there's life. And I remember rearing back and saying, there's life, there's life. I felt her whimper and cry. When I heard that, my heart just filled with joy so much that she was saved and she was alive. When EMS arrived, Matthew said he rode in the ambulance with little Mila. He began to sing to his baby, a song they sing every night. It isn't any trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. And she began to spell S-M-I-L-E. And I knew, I started crying. I said, God, you saved my baby. And I remember... Um, just thanking God. The family, so thankful Mila has made a full recovery. Anybody that has children, get CPR training. If you are babysitting children, if you are a worker at a church or a school, you should have CPR training. If you are a parent of a child, you should have CPR training. I truly believe it's a miracle. I call her my miracle Mila. Miracles still happen. I believe that. Mm, amazing. And they said they have a new rule now that any time the kids are swimming in the pool, they're going to be in the mm -hmm. pool with them. And the thing is, both parents, medical professionals, there was someone else there who was a nurse as well, right? Yes. So, I mean, like, this was the, a, a best case scenario really that, that a lot of times people don't face. And, no. and parents that were being attentive at the time. I mean, they said there were adults all around that pool yeah. and it just happened like wow. that. And you never know with little kids, a two-year-old. When they say they're done swimming, you take them out, take off their floaties, turn around for just a second, and there water. she just went, yeah. went back well, into the water. And how quickly have you seen with your kids, like literally the finals, and you turn around, they fall. And, oh, yeah. and, and when it's by a pool that's uh, exponentially increased, and yeah, we're going to actually put a JT in swimming classes here yeah. this summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's important. Yeah, and, and, and what's uh, really interesting is actually the younger that you do it, the quicker they actually pick yep. up on it. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a great advice in knowing CPR for adults in uh, all ages is a great Yeah, I think CPR is it, it, just standard nowadays. Yes. You know, we've yeah. seen yeah. what, you know, uh, you know, we saw with a football player. At, at of, course. Game, yeah. so, of course, of uh, course. Yeah. And, you know, with kids, I mean, there's there's a certain amount of extra training to do CPR on kids because it's a little bit different, but yeah. it's certainly the same process. Yeah, depending on the size, yeah. if they're a baby yeah, or yeah. a toddler or whatnot. But, but thankfully, luckily, they're, they're all trained. 
All they were them. all yeah. trained. Yeah, the, the yeah. mother's a nurse, he's a nurse, and then there was another woman doing CPR, um, yeah. chest compressions on top that was a nurse that he had worked with in the hospital. It could have been di uh, totally different outcomes. Yeah. If they didn't know what to do. Thank the Lord for that. I know, right? Yeah. Well, a lot of stuff's going on here, though. Well, I mean, too. because it's important to, like, equip you with good information yes. as well in, in a situation like this. So uh, we want to let you know North Carolina swim instructors are actually hoping to prevent tragedies like this. Big Blue Swim School, it's up in Concord. It's just one program of a lot out there. It offers swim lessons for kids from 3 to 12 years old. Instructors tell us getting kids even uh, into just one lesson, just one, mm -hmm. that's all it takes. It can greatly reduce the risk of drowning. Some tips to keep in mind when at the pool Always make sure somebody's watching mm -hmm. the swimmer um, and let lifeguards or any instructor know ahead of time if your child struggles when it comes to swimming. And if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for swim lessons as soon as possible. I think that's good for everybody because if you, if you don't know swimming, let's say there was a kid in a pool and you weren't able to swim, you would not be able to say, potentially say oh, that. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. Most totally. definitely. So that's good for everybody, all ages. Uh, we're getting some comments now. Melissa saying, I can't imagine. Good job, Dad. Which made me think he also uh, told us that when he was in the ambulance ride, uh, the, the EMT worker in there said, you know, good job, Jack, yeah. Dad. And she said, I don't think I've been to a situation like this ever where the outcome has been like this. Wow. It doesn't I, happen. And yeah. she said we cover within, within a lot minutes, of these. Within minutes, they can be gone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Melissa also saying my kids are born in Charleston around the ocean and pools. I did swimming lessons early. I took infant CPR training when I was pregnant as well. It's so important. Smart. It's, it's very smart. Yeah. Um, swimming lessons are so important. Actually, today, a lot of folks are going to be taking part. Um, it's the 15th annual World's Largest Swim Lesson. Charlotte, one of hundreds of host locations. The event works to build awareness about the importance of teaching kids to swim to prevent drowning. Here in Charlotte, the Double Oaks Family Aquatic Center and Ray Splash Planet are both taking part. Um, and this story right here made me think of, too, that it's never too late to learn swimming. We talked about when Ruby was here. She did a whole story yeah, on her fantastic. learning. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. On herself, learning how to swim as an adult. Yep. Right. It's never too late. Yeah, never, never too, too late. late. All right. Folks, uh, let us know what you think, and then uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning yeah. for another edition of WCNC Charlotte to go.